This presentation is going to give you an overview over the Itego product reference data management, its application and its benefits. First, we are going to take a look at reference data and their crucial role in business processes. Then we will address common issues and pain points while maintaining reference data. And in the last part of the presentation, we will give an insight on how Itego reference data management solves these problems. Please be aware of our legal disclaimer while watching this video. We're going to start with the topic of why companies should do something and why maintaining reference data is so crucial. First of all, it is important to realize that master data and the linked reference data nowadays has to be maintained in a high quality to ensure smooth business processes. It affects every part of your business. For example, if a CEO wants to keep track of his sales processes, he needs to be informed about his customers, which is a master data object. As a COO in purchasing and logistics, you need to keep track of your supplies and materials. As a CFO, you need to manage the company's cost controlling. You need to keep track of your accounts and cost centers, which are master data objects. And as a data officer, you support all of the previous roles in having high quality data available. And that starts with master data and reference data. Note that for almost every kind of reference data object, there is a different system in use, either from SAP or from another vendor. The problem with having different systems in use is that reference data is often stored non-harmonized, meaning useless, overlapping or just plain wrong data. By using Etigo RDM, you establish a single system that keeps track of all of your reference data and therefore establishes a single source of truth throughout all of your systems. It is also important to realize how the high impact of reference data is based on the high degree of sharing. For business processes, different data types are used with reference data being the most fundamental. Other data types are for example master data, conditional master data, transaction data, reports and eventually logs. As we can see, the frequency of change of these data types increases from left to right, meaning that reference data is rarely alternated. But if we now take a look at the degree of sharing, we can see that reference data has by far the highest degree of sharing. This thought, taken one step further, clearly delivers another reason of why having high quality reference data is crucial. Reference data might not change very often, but when it does, it affects a huge amount of processes in your company. If there is an issue with the reference data, there will also be an issue with all of the previously mentioned processes. That's why Itigo RDM as a single system for all reference data makes business processes run more efficiently. We are now going to take a look at the dependencies between master data objects and their corresponding reference data objects by the example of a CDO and his data owners. A CDO usually has several data owners, for example in sales. Master data in sales is usually managed in MDGC where you need to take care of your customers. And to properly manage your customers, you need to take care of some linked reference data objects. This also applies for data owners in finance who use MDGF to maintain objects like accounts, cost centers, etc. But for maintaining these objects, there are even more reference data objects to be maintained as a foundation. Two more examples could be either a data owner in procurement being responsible for managing the suppliers in MDGS with several more reference data objects forming the foundation, or a data owner in logistics managing materials in MDGM with a variety of objects forming the material object itself. This overview should clarify how your reference data objects support your master data objects and how it is unavoidable to manage reference data consistently if you want your master data to be consistent as well. This is why Itego offers the first out-of-the-box solution that addresses reference data. Next up, we will briefly discuss common pain points and the results that one faces while maintaining reference data. The root cause of basically any issue with reference data can be traced back to the reference data being inconsistent. Common forms of reference data inconsistency are non-harmonized, overlapping or unused data. If your reference data is not consistent, the whole foundation of your business processes becomes unstable and inefficient. Connecting systems with non-harmonized data becomes extremely difficult and every report of yours will be based on inconsistent data. 
This usually leads to spoiled goods, inefficient storage, long and unreliable processes, high costs and ultimately wrong decision making, which needs to be avoided at any cost. This is why we are now going to take a look at how Itego RDM prevents these issues, including the benefits and solution components. First of all, using Itego RDM will, in general, result in faster, more simple and harmonized processes and therefore in higher quality data. It also means having a workflow process driven by data owners and specialists, having a guided documentation and the opportunity to enrich objects with metadata and ultimately establishing a single source of truth for all of your reference data. This will result in several benefits for your business, including reduced risks for any kind of decision making, reliable and flexible processes, reduced project costs and duration, and in general allows for reports of a higher quality, resulting in better strategic planning. We're now going to take a look at what Itego delivers with RDM. RDM is a complete and integrated MDG application which simply works as an add-on and out of the box. In order to achieve this functionality, RDM delivers its own data model which contains pre-delivered content but is flexible nevertheless. In addition to this, the out of the box version contains three standard rule-based workflows. If needed, these workflows can be configured or even extended. The workflow is supported by change documents which allow for easy monitoring. The adaptable user interface of RDM allows for an easy processing of all reference data affairs. Lastly, the data replication of RDM works via a staging area in a connected system which works for both SAP and non-SAP systems. Another method of data exchange from or to RDM is provided by the possibility of transferring data via XML or CSV files. Next up, you can see an in-depth explanation of the three delivered standard workflows. The first request process and approve type calls in a requester which sends the request to the data specialist who needs to check on the data and send it to the data steward who is then able to approve the request. The second request and approve type involves one data specialist and one data steward. The specialist is able to propose a request which needs to be approved by the steward. And the last create requests simply consists out of one step which lets the user create a new data record instantly. If needed, these workflows can of course be configured and extended in any way that suits your business. The following slide provides an overview of all available Itigo RDM objects. The major ones are in financials and human resources, account groups, company codes and the newest object exchange rate, for logistics, material groups, plans and unit of measure, for sales and distribution, for example payment terms, product hierarchies and sales organization, in general settings, country, regions and languages, and in purchasing, for example, purchasing organizations and groups. This concludes the overview of Itego RDM. If you want to get to know more about RDM and how to work with it in detail, you can take a look at the provided demo series containing info on how to work with units of measure, product hierarchies, payment terms, company codes and exchange rates.